Now this question is optimization. So we're going to need to set up an equation that will be the revenue or a, a function for the revenue and we'll set take derivative set equal to zero. Creating this equation is the tough part. What we're given is there's a linear relationship between ticket price and attendance. So let's we can choose ticket price and I'm just going to use X for the ticket price. So that means our A of X is going to be the attendance at price X. Uh, there is a maximum here so no matter what uh, A of X the, there's no limit on the price, but the number of spectators can never go above 50,000. So just keep that in mind. If we get a solution that has attendance higher than 50,000, we're going to have to throw it away. And obviously, if we're zero spectators, we have a problem as well. You don't want zero or negative spectators, but it's got to be between zero and 50,000. All right. They give us two ticket prices and two attendances. So that's two points. And I'm going to go ahead and use the slope form here, the one that should be familiar. And slope, uh, we have, normally it's y2 minus y1, but here we have attendance 2 minus attendance 1 over x2 minus x1, the two different uh, ticket values. Ticket price $12, the average attendance is 21 thousand so it doesn't matter if that's a1 or an x1 or a2 and x2 so let's just say that's uh the first one so that'll be a1 attendance one is 12 21 thousand x1 will be that 12 dollars now the other values you drop the price to ten dollars that's the x the ticket price x2 the attendance two is twenty five thousand We'll subtract these. My arithmetic is bad. I hope these numbers are not scary. And 4,000. Negative 2,000. All right, so that's our slope. That's our m. So our a of x is a linear function. Now, I don't like mx plus b form. So I'm going to write it in the uh, point slope, x minus, you can use x1 or x2, it doesn't matter. I think the x2, a2 are going to be easier to work with. And remember, this just comes from the same uh, y equals m x nine minus x1 plus y1. I'm just converting it. I'm using x2, a2, because uh, my a, value, a is working uh, as y is. Uh, it's just taking the same, playing the same role as y. So negative 2,000 x minus x2 was the price of $10. And the y value or the attendance was 25,000. I circled them right here. And this is our a of x. This is the attendance. This is not the amount of money we're making. This is the attendance. I think this might look nicer if we distribute our negative 2,000. So negative 2,000 x. Uh, 10 times 2,000 is positive 20,000. So this is our attendance function right here. Now, if ticket price is too high, uh, basically this graph's going to look something like this. If your ticket price is too high, you're not going to have many fans show up. And if your ticket price is too low, you have a ton of fans. There's a limit to how many fans, but if your ticket price is too low, you won't make much money off of it. So somewhere in between a high and a low value is what we want. We do not have the function to maximize yet. We need the revenue function. So how do we get revenue? Revenue 
Man, my handwriting is really bad. I'm not writing on a table. So our revenue is ticket price times uh, attendance or number of tickets. And this is a function of ticket price. We don't get to choose the attendance. We get to choose the value of a ticket. So ticket price is X, as was stated right at the top of the screen. What's the attendance? That's the function A of X we just wrote down. So that's minus 2,000 X plus 45,000. Of course, we're about ticket derivative. So product rule is not my most favorite rule. So we can just do a little algebra and that'll let us dodge the product rule. We'll just have an easy little power rule for each of these. So take derivative, set it equal to zero, and that'll give you the ticket price that'll maximize revenue. This is a sad parabola. So when you graph it, you don't need to graph it, but if you would graph it, the critical point, critical value you're finding is gonna be a maximum because it's a sad parabola. And that will be the they're asking for the ticket price right here. They're not asking for the revenue, so keep that in mind. They're asking for the ticket price. So they all they want to know is X. So you're going to take derivative, set it equal to zero. And this is the uh, ticket price to optimize revenue. All right, I'm bad with numbers, so I'm gonna stop right here, but this should be pretty easy. You can have a linear function set it equal to zero. Uh, when you take the derivative, you'll have linear function set it equal to zero, and uh, you should be able to get your x value right out of that.